amen, created to triumph. Triumph over adversities, amen, over oppositions, amen. We've been created to triumph, amen. Praise God. We give God the praise, amen, for being here this morning. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Bless God, bless God. To our apostle, amen. Praise the Lord. Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Go ahead, apostle. Amen.
I believe if he's doing it for my neighbor, That's right. he surely is in my neighborhood. And before he leaves my block, I'm going to make sure I get what I need from God.
can't control it yourself. I'm acting crazy. But y'all think this is a party?
to find anybody you choose and say to them, he's just that kind of God.
Oh no!
concerned about little of us. Amen. Let's get our Bibles. We thank God and appreciate the time that Apostle shares with us. She doesn't use her age as an excuse to stay home. She doesn't use her age as an excuse to be senile and just do anything and say what she wants. But she's a holy woman of God. And ain't nobody got to tell her story because her life is already spoken. Genesis chapter 7. Genesis chapter 7. It's right in the flow of what's going on in here. Okay. It's right in the flow of what's been for the past, I don't know how long. <laughs> now I'm going to move around a little so if you find it hard to follow. You know what to do. Genesis chapter 7. And I'm going to start the 21st verse. Genesis chapter 7. You can stay seated. You don't have to stand.
just leave it right there.
something when God begins to send judgment all around and it seems like he allows tragedy to strike over here and calamity to fall next door and folk are being stricken down all around you and yet it never touches you. Ain't it amazing that your neighbor can die that means death is next door and even something pop off in front of the house but yet it has not touched you. Tell somebody because God remembered me. Somebody need to testify and let it be known I'm only here because God remembered me. You can ask somebody in the room, does God know your name? Does God know your name? I can ask that question boldly because later on, Out 
the door. I know it was on a sign, but it still is what it is. Tell somebody, it is what it is. See, we get fixed on something being for one purpose, but it can be multi-purposeful. So the dog represents peace. Some could not feel safe in their own home. That was in my nose. Mind filled with confusion. You got mothers against daughters. Fathers against sons. Everything is a battle. Everything is an argument. Everything is a misunderstanding. But tell somebody, God is sending the dog. Oh, peace. Now, there was a time that he sent the dove the first time, and the dove came back, and it was nothing. Tell somebody, be encouraged. Stay encouraged. Just because you try something the first time and it doesn't work, doesn't mean that's the final answer. We got to be patient and give God some time, because he works beautifully in time. And it works miraculously out of time. <laughs> so the dog came back with nothing the first time. Now, it also said that the dog returned. On the second time, the dog returned. I see you, Sister Kim. It's good. It's good to me. The second time, the dog had returned with an olive leaf in its mouth or an olive branch. Now, let's share revelation that Spirit gives to those that really study. Now, it was more than when it brought back the olive leaf for the branch. It meant more than it was dry land ready and available. The dog could have come back with a piece of palm in his mouth. You know, the palm leaves. He could have come back with a maple leaf. But it was specific to say, olive leaf out of branch. Now, if we talk about symbolism, the scripture talks about extending an olive branch as a peace offering or peace. So we're talking about the dove. You see how it's working together. One thing about it was Noah has sent out peace. And what came back to Noah was peace. The dove came back with an olive branch. See, God was at war with the earth. An olive branch being extended is a sign of peace. God sent the dove back, let no one know all is well. I'm no longer angry. If I send out peace, peace is coming back to my house. But if I send out hell, hell is coming back to my house. All right, now, let's be careful what you're sitting on. Because it's coming back to your boat. That's right. Be careful. Peace be to you from God our Father. Now, one thing I like about it was peace didn't only come by itself. Peace had, from the door, peace had something with it. Now, when you think about the olive leaf, right? The leaf is connected to the branch. The branch is connected to the tree. And the last time I checked, it's the same tree where the olives grow. And olives grow, and let us not forget the olive, when it talks about it in the scripture, the olive is pressed and crushed to produce an anointing oil. Talk about the olive. I want you to see how God gives a revelation to something we've been reading for years. So that all this connected, so that dove had the peace, had that leaf in its mouth, and that was connected to that tree. Tell somebody in here, peace, peace. is bringing a special anointing. Peace brought me something from the tree that's vital to my Christian walk. Being anointed. God. Tell somebody I'm anointed for this. Peace. 
Somebody say the devil been telling lies, but I know the truth. I'm anointed for this. And the last thing I want to say about the dove, the dove also represents the Holy Spirit.
somebody, the storm is over. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? I know you shout and you might be tired because we don't regularly exercise. But guess what? Does your body really control you? Or the spirit of the Lord that you say is in you control you?
God. Yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. Because there's some things I ain't tolerate. See, that's the problem with Christian folk. We tolerate too much. You got to learn to put your foot down. He gave you power over your enemy. And let me tell you something. If I don't want no flapjacks, drum checking in my presence, I know how to shut it down. That's right. Use your authority. Use your power. Speak. Don't be afraid. Come on, we got to really be in power. Because you're going to encounter all kinds of demons. He'll have you thinking it's the right property to purchase. He'll have you thinking it's the right move. 
remain holy. He needs me to maintain my salvation. He needs me to keep my cool. Somebody say amen. I feel it all over God needs me to keep my cool. Amen. Because there's a lesson for somebody else to learn. But when God sees something in you, he trusts us to do the right thing in somebody else's storm. That's right. That's right. Well, I know Christian, he'll stand. He won't waver. He won't question his salvation. I know Martha Green. I, I, I know her. And it's something God can brag on his children. Oh, I know what I put in you. Oh, I know what I put in you. I know you'll stand. No matter how much the wind blow. No matter how high the water get. It was a good time trying to keep my head above water. Making a wave if we can. Temporary layoffs. <laughs> This storm is over. Some things that somebody has been dealing with for the past few years is over. It might have made me emotional, but it's moving out. It's a done deal. And sometimes we don't grasp some things until we physically see it. So if you bowl like that, get you a shoebox and call it a coffin. Get you some notebook paper and write some of those things down that had you bound and had you tripped up. Throw them in that coffin and bury it. Because I know it's over. I know this right here is dead and it's going in the ground. Because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I don't have enough of your mess. Hey, I preach this to ashes to ashes and dust to dust. You're getting out of my life. You're getting out of my spirit. You're getting out of my mind. You had that day ruined at one point. But when You need a 
church home, you need to be saved. You want to get to know God more. Because you know where you're at is not sufficient. You could only live but so long without eating and drinking no water. Don't starve your spiritual man and let him die. But taste. Drink from that. Come to a man that can save your soul. Touch you in your heart where others have heard it. Cause you to have a season. It's men that are suffering because of the hand of another individual. There's some that are suffering because of the wicked. This is why God has allowed the storm to move in the land. It didn't come to panic. It came to kill and destroy. Because they buffeted it, those that belong to God. You refuse to change and hear the word. Then I'll snuff your life. Really speak against leadership. My Lord. Have mercy, God, for what He has in store for you. Yes, Jesus. He's a holy God, and what He set up in the beginning will be in the end. Nobody came. God bless you. Always remember Jesus and keep Him on your mind. Always remember Jesus and keep him on your mind. And remember, tell somebody the storm is over. Thank you. 
directions of the ushers. If they direct you to a certain seat, it's for a reason. We're here for your safety. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I just want to thank Trustee Tashina and CJ Amen. for working that out along with Deacon Stephen with the signs. So we thank the Lord for that we all work together. Apostle, Amen. 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 We thank God for all that's been said and done. All those that are doing the necessaries for the house. That's right. We don't know what That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's what I forgot what it was. That's all right. Um, it's good to see faces. Amen. I'm glad you're here. Oh, that's what I want to say. The gospel choir been trying to sing for the past week. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you good? I don't believe in over. Listen, I don't care what I got to do. I'll stop what I got to do if I can. That helps. Right. Right. You don't over because you don't know how much time you have left in the earth. That's right. So I don't believe in overlooking nobody in this time right. unless they say otherwise. Right. So I just want to acknowledge you.
God bless you. Good to see you. God bless you. And think back during the week on this day. On the conversation you have with God for yourself. Don't let nothing hold you down. Don't let nothing turn you around That's right. to think negative. Because a work has been started in you. Because God heard your heart. Uh -huh. He know you were speaking with your mouth and he heard your heart. Ain't nothing like when we're in pain, when we're dealing with madness and all kinds of things around us. God knows the weekend is going to be punished and your storm is over. Yeah. Over. Over. He said, prepare yourself for the blessings of the Lord.
say thank you. You're dismissed. Leave him praising him. 